Hello, math scholars. Today's topic is 24 hour clock word problems, single step problems. So, in this section, we'll be solving these 24 hour word problems with both elapsed time and beginning times and ending times. This is pretty much the same as all we've done in all the previous sections, but we're just going to reiterate now so that everyone is clear on the same page. So basically what you're going to be doing is that they're going to be giving you either the beginning time, the ending time, or the elapsed time, and you'll have to figure out the one that they didn't give you. So remember our basic formula. Our final time, our final time, minus our beginning time, or initial time as we've called it, is equal to our elapsed time. And that means if they give you the final time and they give you the beginning time, you can just use this equation directly to figure out the elapsed time. Now the question is, what if they give you the elapsed time and the beginning time? If they give you the elapsed time and the beginning time, you can bring all this over here and add it. So it's elapsed time plus the beginning time will equal the final time. Erase this a bit so it becomes even more clear. I'll write it again. In general, the elapsed time plus the beginning time will also equal the final time. Try it out if you don't believe me. So what if they give you the final time and the elapsed time, but they want you to find the beginning time? Well, same thing. Let's manipulate this equation. I want to get beginning time by itself, so I want to get rid of this elapsed time. So I want to move it all the way to the other side. To move it all the way to the other side, I need to subtract it from both sides. So I get beginning time, I'm just going to write begin, is equal to my final time now minus the elapsed time because I subtracted it from both sides. So very same equation. You can use it however you will, but remember, since we're using 24-hour time, a cool thing is you don't need to worry about borrowing 12 hours if you're working with PM and AM. You can just go ahead and subtract from the minutes and from the hours, and sometimes if they give you seconds. All right, I hope that's clear, and good luck.